You're just falling all over yourself, aren't you, Capricorn? My name is April Nicole, and welcome to Sister Girl Readings. We're on my porch, and unfortunately, it's kind of loud, so I'm sorry if it's some my neighbors, they talk on the phone or whatever they do. So don't worry about them. Worry about the message, and the message is important. I'll be as loud as I can be so you guys can hear me and as clear as possible. I'm going to turn the comments off because sometimes I get some really dumb ass comments. Like, motherfuckers be leaving me some shit. I'm like, did you think about that shit before you send it to me? So before you send me a comment, think about it. Would you want to receive the same comment? And if you do send it, because one of these days I'm going to respond back to you and it's going to be it's gonna be some ignorant shit. Just because I do cards don't mean I won't check you. All right, now I'm Sagittarius Sun, Leo Moon now, come on. And I got that Capricorn rising, so I don't play. Scorpio over here, too. I'll snap at the motherfucker. Mm-mm, don't do that shit either, bruh. That's what we got. You in there? All right, so we're going to get into the reading, guys. Right here. Leave a comment below. Oh, wait, I should the comments away. Leave a comment in your mind. <laughs> All right. They're like, ooh, you fucking negative. Well, bitch, go find no for real this for real, this is real G's only. And if you can't handle a little profanity and a little jokes, then you need to get the fuck out. Not for you, baby. Not for you. All right, Capricorn. That's where I tell motherfuckers, I'm, they think I'm nice and Mother Teresa, like, no, I'm from the hood. I'm from Chicago. All right, some of y'all can be feeling angry a little bit. Maybe y'all feel a little hostile. I'm, and, and you know, I, I'm coming to y'all, but I'm really actually jovial and free and easygoing. I'm not, I'm coming up as an angry person, but I'm actually pretty zen. Like, I'm feeling good today. So maybe I, I feel angry, but I feel good. Like, I got vindication. Somebody could be getting vindicated. Someone could be feeling like, damn, I got the truth. I feel good, but I'm mad at the same time. Passionate, raw, raw. I could be up there doing some type of event. Some type of concert, you could be a speaker, you like keeping the energy going, pumped up, you know what I'm saying? You may slip up a little bit, up, huh? but I got it right here. The Phoenix, something is changing. Changes. Okay. The separation. Someone you may be thinking about someone, or someone is thinking about you. The golden mirror. Someone is love bombing or they're narcissistic. You could be Okay, you could be going through a separation and you don't want to leave your mate or they don't want to leave you, so they love bombing you. Um, clock. You be waiting on someone. Girl with the snake. Empath and narcissist. Being charmed. Enable boundaries. Okay, so this relationship is already coming off as negative and narcissistic. There is a relationship in which there is an empathic person with spiritual abilities and there's a person with a narcissist who thinks everything about themselves. Everything has to be about them. It's never about another motherfucker. Um, they charm or manipulate people to get what they want, and they don't have any boundaries. You got to create boundaries, this motherfucker. Um, they, you could be needing time to heal, and this motherfucker is not going to help you. Um, the golden mirror, self-absorbed narcissism, love bombing. You could be giving someone everything, and they don't give you nothing in return. They just take, 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 take. Someone could be getting a separation. So it seems like there is, there's definitely some type of like, there could be a, there could be some type of spiritualist that is being very, they're going through a very significant time and they're making everything about themselves. Um, you could be love bombing them, trying to win their affection. It seems very, mm, I like it. What is the girl with the snake? Let's define that shit. Two cards came out. Paradise, healing heart. Okay, yeah, someone is healing from a breakup or a relationship, and they're you're trying to um, they're trying to be happy. So someone could be going through some shit. They just got out of a fucked up relationship, and they got that type of energy around them. And maybe you're love bombing them. What is the golden era? I don't like that. Heartbroken. Yeah, someone is broken. Broken heart. The chaser. You could be chasing someone that's going through some shit. Twin flame. This person could be a twin flame. Ooh, heart with the key. You're welcoming someone in that had their heart broken. Hammer. You're rebuilding them. Why are you doing that? Capricorn. You are chasing someone and they got problems. They got out of a relationship and they got issues that they need to work on. You can't fix someone 
that needs to work on themselves. You can be there for them, but you can't fix them. That ain't for you to do. Now, love bombing and giving gifts are different. You know what, baby? I know you're going through some shit. As a man, I don't want to be in your life romantically because I would only be a rebound. And you're not ready for that type of commitment, so I'm going to be a friend to you. I'm going to help you work on your situations, and if you need me to, to talk to, I got you. But hold on. That don't mean that when I have an issue that I can't come to you because just because you're going through some pain, you got some wisdom behind that pain. I might need someone to cry on. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's just, let's just be a give and take friendship. I'm not asking you for sex. I don't want that. I know you don't want that either. I just want to be there for you. Can we be there for each other? I got some shit to... It seems like trauma bonding, but it's not. I got tears. Someone could be crying. But... You know what I'm saying? Like, someone is definitely emotional. But let me help you. Let me let me help. Let me, let me put you on. Let me put you through some shit. Let me help you. I think that that is better. Don't give them. I think giving them, like, everything is just, like, overwhelming to this person. Maybe you should ease into it. You know? Um, they are... They, they may be a chaser. Maybe they're always chasing someone that they love, and this person doesn't get it, the love back. And you want to show them, hey, I can give it to you. It's like, but they got to see it. Loving, giving them everything they want won't make this person feel that you are the one for them. If they don't trust you. I get trust. I get that you're love bombing this person because you, don't, you want to prove to them that you are there for them, and they don't want to be there with you. Heartbroken. Someone is in a codependent relationship. Someone has abandonment issues. Um, twin flame. Someone could you. This person could compliment you. You feel like this may. This person may have a lot of issues, but they. You comp. I get that you should put this person in therapy. Twin flame. Yeah, I. I think that um, this person compliments you, and this relationship is gonna take a lot of work. Honestly, Capricorn. I mean. The clock is here. I mean, this gonna this gonna be you gonna be a while. If you love this person and you want to be with them, you gotta be in it for a long haul. Like you gotta be in it because if you're if you're too busy for this shit, I, most Capricorns I know always busy. They ain't got time for nobody, especially playing mama and babysitter to no bitch. And this, especially this is a man. So I don't see no Capricorn man ha trying to be anything to any woman. That he ain't being to himself. And I ain't even mad at Capricorn for that. Because they supposed to take care of your fucking self. But if you dating somebody. And they know they've got a relationship. And you promise to be there. And your ass ain't there nigga. Uh nah. You just basically set themselves up. And now they feel like they've been dumped twice. Don't tell no motherfucker. Um, no shit that you don't mean. Capricorn does that all the time. And end up why they ain't alone. You got your job as your mate. You got all these people that's around you and they fake as fuck and you ain't got no love life. That's because your ass ain't investing no time and energy into no shit. What is separation? Photograph. Someone could be thinking, looking at things how things used to be. Someone could be getting a divorce. Um, the butterfly. Yeah, something is growing. So something has ended and something is taking place. Twin flames keep coming up. This is twin flames. You guys are a lot alike. A lot alike. Hard with the key and the chaser. Yeah, this, whoever this person that chases people, you got a twin flame karmic relationship with this motherfucker. This motherfucker is yours. When they made, it's, are you dealing with a Virgo? Because Virgo had a card that said that um, Plateau, like when you split a person in half, they're forced to find each other. You may be meeting someone that's coming out of a relationship and they're coming towards you like, what's up? You know, or you're coming at them. Hammer. Yeah, you are definitely helping someone over get over something. Hmm. I want to keep that there. Hold on. What is the phoenix for Capricorn? The axe. Yeah, someone got rid of something. The runner. Someone ran. The chaser. Interesting. The twin flame card. And these two came out together. The cassette and healthy choices. Okay. Um, someone made a new... Someone changed their mind. Someone grew. Someone got a separation and stopped the situation. Someone could be silent. Treat, someone
Someone could be giving someone a silent treatment. Someone chased someone with an axe. Could be violence, domestic violence. This runner is chasing this woman with an axe. This is a man. This is a man who's violent. He's chasing someone. See this man? He's running after her with a weapon. Could be a violent situation. Could be an abusive man who was beating this woman. Could be getting out of an abusive relationship where someone is beating someone's ass. They're getting hit. Someone's covering their face up with makeup. Be careful, Capricorn. You might be with a bit of a woman. I don't mean bitch. I'm sorry. I'll be with a woman and she cried or something. She do something and that's like black eye around her face. How'd you get that? Don't worry about it. And you like, how'd you get that? Don't worry about it. And you like, no, for real. How'd you get that? The motherfuckers getting abused. They getting their ass whooped. And they ain't saying nothing. They keeping it like quash. They don't want nobody to know that. They could be getting their ass whooped by a twin flame. Someone made a healthy decision. They, they played this out in their mind for a long time. And they decided to leave. Leave. They couldn't do it no more. We can get some tarot cards on these. Very toxic relationship. I will say, what is the phoenix? What is the phoenix for um, Capricorn? Someone is changing. Princess of Cups. Yeah. So this is a um, first blush crush. You can have a crush on a water sign. You hesitant to reach out to them though. Don't want to do that. Yeah. I don't want to say the wrong thing. I don't want to be too nervous. Like a Trey Song song. Someone wants to, someone is in, has a crush. They just change their mind about someone. They just, oh my God, this bitch is fine. Fuck. You know what I'm saying? It kind of went from dark to light, didn't it? What's separation for Capricorn? Mm. Queen of Wands fell out. Could deal with a fire sign. These are a lot of cards. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, let's try to go over the bitches real quick. The world and the three of pentacles. Someone ended something and they tried to get away from a relationship and that baggage was heavy as shit. They ended things and moved. So they could have been with a baby daddy, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They ended things. It was a bad decision, but I mean, they followed their truth and now they don't know if that's what they should have done. Could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They took some type of money and they become the queen of wands. So they become this intuitive, loving, compassionate person. Now, mind you, this woman was married or dating someone because this is the king of cups. This is his queen. They're together. So someone switched suits. Someone said to hell with this intuitive shit or to hell with all this other shit. This queen of cups, she saw something and she said, fuck that, I left. So something abrupt is happening, like some type of like major change. Someone is trying to get away from something that is like a tower moment, and they left a little too late. It's not like they're really trapped in it, but the judgment card is like, you could have done that a little differently, don't you think? So now someone made a bad decision. I mean, it was they, the truth came out. They feel overwhelmed, you know, and now there they are, the Queen of Cups. They got money. Maybe, maybe somebody found out about the situation and they're like, let me give you some money. This person could be getting a lot of patronage. Maybe they were loved, cared for. Someone got a whole bunch of money or a settlement or some cash. And now they're the Queen of Wands. They've took all that pain, emotional shit they've been through. And now they are now that bitch. Okay? Could be dealing with the Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Someone has changed. Their pain has made them become a different person. All right, what's up? All right, what is the golden mirror? What is the golden mirror? Someone, they've met someone that's just like them. Perhaps they will heal them. Or maybe not. What's the golden mirror for Capricorn? Uh, the death card came out and ending. Could be dealing with Scorpio. This card came out first. Seven of Pentacles. Someone doesn't know if they want to invest something. They put the seed in the ground. And they don't, this person is controlling. That's probably why they don't really know if that's what they want to do. Three of Wands, they don't, this person's an asshole to them. Strength card, they don't really give them love. They, whatever they promise, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't what it is. 
The Queen of Pentacles. Someone could have a secret lover. Or someone could be secretly longing for something that they lost. Someone could have traded treasure for trash. And now they want something that they could have. They want something else. What else is love bombing? Or not love bombing. What else is golden mirror for Capricorn? What else is love bombing for Capricorn? The Queen of Cups. Nine of Cups. Someone could be Nine of Cups. Someone could be love. So this Queen of Cups is love bombing. Or someone got their wish. What's, what's the Nine of Cups and the Queen of Cups? A lot of emotion. Nine of Cups and Queen of Cups. Some type of emotion. What's the Nine of Cups and the Queen of Cups? Okay. Justice is reversed. Something did not go in someone's favor. Someone got a wish that they didn't want. Yeah, someone, someone, justice could be about some situation that blew up in someone's face. Could be dealing with Libra Aries. Someone is like never consistent. Like someone is never, this Sagittarius or Scorpio person is just not good to them. Um, what is the girl with the snake? Okay. Let's put this to the side. So much information. Okay. The world. I'm sorry. The um the fool. Someone left. They got into a third party relationship, or they got into some type of party or friendship, and they burnt out. They're disinterested, and they they're looking back into the past. They could have gotten with an ex, a Virgo. Hmm. I definitely get Virgo energy. Someone could have um, gotten, someone left for a friendship or a friend. Someone they're not even interested in. Six of Cups and Ace of Cups. Someone, someone that's, someone, someone, it, it's like someone is in love with their ex, they're not in love with their ex. What's the Eight of Pentacles? Maybe this ex is in love with them. You, be, you could be in love. Some Virgo could be in love with you. You're like, no, nah, I'm good. <laughs> what's the Eight of Pentacles for Virgo? Oh, uh, for Virgo. What's the what's Eight of Pentacles for Capricorn? What's the, uh, what's the Eight of Pentacles for Capricorn? What is the Eight of Pentacles for Capricorn? Uh-oh. Huh? What is the Eight of Pentacles for Capricorn? Hold on, hold on, bitch. Bitches. <sighs> <laughs> what is the eight of pentacles? Oh shit! Okay, the uh, yeah, this woman don't fucking yo. This woman don't fucking like this. <laughs> this woman don't like this nigga at all. Yo, okay, the hierophant, six of wands, the two of wands, the king of wands, the, the high, the prince of cups, and the queen of pentacles. The hierophant is. Someone, someone wanted a third-party relationship, and someone wasn't interested in it. You see this man, he's like looking off, and this woman's looking somewhere else. These motherfuckers are not even looking in each other's direction. He's kissing her, and he's looking off, and she's receiving the kiss, but she's so stiff looking somewhere else. These motherfuckers are like, are they, are they like swingers? Are you, are, Scorpio? Someone is not interested in that. Someone's not interested in that. They could be disinterested in a third party. They love their ex, but they don't want what they what comes with this person. This could be a married person, or this could be a Taurus you're dealing with. Someone very successful. Someone made a decision. Um, maybe someone wants uh, a relationship. This King of Wands makes an offer to the Queen of Cups. So this is about a, a, a hierophant of Taurus, maybe. Someone's successful. They're very celebrated. After a lot of fighting, they make a decision. The King of Wands could be about a, a business owner. Someone they, uh, they, they're, they're courting someone. The Queen of Pentacles can be a, a business owner herself. But someone's not interested. Someone feels like that's, a, that's not the move. What's the Six of Cups? Someone was like, you thought, nigga. Mm -hmm. We dealing with Scorpio? 
I'm gonna say no thanks. For real. Why does it say for cups of Scorpio? Oh, okay. Oh. I said Scorpio, see? Queen of Cups and X. And X and these cards came out with it. The high priestess, the sun. Someone lost somebody. The, someone lost this beautiful woman that they feel like they can't get. The high priestess is a very attractive woman, and you can't get her. You trapped. You can't even touch her. You can't touch her at all. She could be a friend of yours. You like, damn, I want to touch this bitch. I'm so fucking mad. You could be going to her for healing, or maybe she's a high priestess or a spiritualist or a doctor, a nurse, holistic, something. Queen, uh, high priestess. But this five of cups. You could be going out for healing, paying her, spending money. Maybe you're trapped in a friend zone. Okay. Let's see. Uh, uh, uh. What is this clock for Capricorn? What is the clock for Capricorn? My hands are going to be this damn deck. The Knight of Wands, a move. Or we'll a move stands forward. Or a message. Could be a Sagittarius. Let's see what else. The clock for a Capricorn. Maybe I'm waiting for someone. Or a, a, a trip. It could be going on a trip. The King of Cups came out. Let's see what he's asking so. on. King of Cups was so fucking fine in this deck, y'all. He got that beard. He looking like a real, real fine. Like my sign of pentacles. You are someone is single. Maybe you're waiting on someone to be single. To get ten of wands, help them. Maybe you help them make a decision. Maybe you helping them through a very fucked up time. The Ten of Wands can be about uh, reprioritizing, reassessment. The Two of Swords can be about difficult decisions. Maybe somebody needs time. The 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 title card they're not they're not yours. The Temperance card. Someone is going through a lot of emotional shit to deal with Sagittarius. Um, got Sagittarius twice, male and female. The woman with the fucking water and shit. Uh, six of Pentacles. You could be giving someone some money. You want to be, you are their friend. The King of Cups loves someone. They're, they they love this person. They're like, I love you. They really mean it too. Could be them with a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone is dead ass serious. What is the King of Cups? Shit. Ooh, somebody. Who else? Title card reversed. Uh, somebody ass ain't. Somebody ass done official. Let's see. Let's see where it fell. King of Cups. Capricorn. Up. Oh, hold on. Yeah, someone, someone is, um, like a competition behind this dude or some shit. Three of Pentacles is about a person who, they like you, but they're not in love with you. They travel a lot. Maybe they travel a lot for business. Could be at a distance. See, that person, they, they far away. What's Three of Pentacles? Three of Pentacles, Two of Cups, and the Emperor. Okay, so this module wants this. But someone wants this. Let me see. What is the Three of Pentacles? What's the Three of Pentacles? Shit, the Queen of Swords came out. Somebody is mad. Someone got a fucking dent in their plan. Someone got a baby mama, a girlfriend, a mama. She like, mm-mm, ain't nobody moving on from me. Now, you work with this bitch. What's the Queen of Swords reverse and the Three of Pentacles? Now we got some more of the story. Five of Wands, fight. We got a girlfriend, a baby mama. That's my motherfucking man, bitch. What the fuck you think you doing? <laughs> oh, Libra Scorpio energy, bitch. What's the Queen of Swords and Five of Wands? Okay. The Lovers came out the bottom of the deck. Tower came out. Some type of oof. Ten of Swords, Seven of Cups. Somebody is weighing their options, and that's a betrayal to this Queen of Swords. She is like, you're going to regret this shit. Lovers, but you don't give a damn. You know what? Hey, yo, I want to show y'all something cool about this deck. You know the Queen of Swords? See her? See that bitch in the background? I know y'all see that bitch, right? Check this out. Ain't that the same bitch? She ain't stupid. This motherfucker know this nigga ain't shit. <laughs> She mad as hell. She like, I know. I had thrown this mirror all the way around. I know this nigga ain't with this bitch. Hell no. Somebody ready to fight. Oh, shit. I'm going to take out my fucking nails, bitch. I'm going to take out. 
bitch. Somebody ass is nasty. She the only bitch with a sword. This bitch is crazy. Better ride your shit, bitch. Hide your shit, bitch. Lover. A relationship. A commitment. Someone is upset that you ain't choose them. And they mad as hell. And they like, what? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Someone and someone. Buddy, 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 buddy. Alright, so, seem like Capricorn, you got a fatal attraction on your hands, buddy. Be careful how you maneuver your shit. The woman you going after, it says she might not even like you. So you going after a woman that don't want you, and you leaving a bitch that won't you. Damn, so you, it's like a love triangle. She wants you, I get it's a man though, sorry. It could be a, 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 a dom. A dominant female but if you got two women they fighting you going after the high priestess and the queen of swords is ready to cut your head off so second best maybe I don't know but this queen of swords is coming at you and you coming at the don't fuck with the high priestess <laughs> leave that bitch alone deal with the queen of swords deal with her be honest with her tell her the truth all that shit deal with her or that could be you deal with your shit don't come at nobody. Yeah. The Queen of Swords got to be dealt with first. This bitch got to be dealt with and disarmed. This bitch got a knife in her hand, bro. She going to stab you everybody else. She going to stab that bitch. Hey, yo. I get false reports. Okay. I bet y'all. Capricorn, y'all got cut the fuck off. I'm like, what the fuck? Y'all shit was getting juicy. But anyway, so basically, my my phone is running out of storage. So, like, it's starting to cut my videos off. So, if it, it's in pieces, I apologize, Capricorn. Um, so, basically, um, in a matter of speaking, you are going to have to handle the Queen of Swords. This situation is your fault. I get it's your fault. I got it. All you, you got a big L with egg on your face. You gotta fix something with this woman. You can't, you can't just go from one woman to another and don't expect another person to have feelings. They have feelings. What's the, um, what's, what's the end for Capricorn? This is messy. I get police getting called. I get, like, fake reports, police getting called, drama. I do. I get, like, a bunch of bullshit going on. Hold on. All these damn cards. Seven of Swords. Someone's gonna get caught. I was so and so. Did nothing tell you a bunch of deception and bullshit? I'm turning them all over, and I, the first cards I see are bullshit. I'm just like, mm, somebody, this y'all gotta disarm the Queen of Swords, cause like, how you gonna? How, that's why I'm, that's why I'm in the video. You gotta disarm this bitch. This bitch got a fucking weapon. What is the rest of the reading for Capricorn? Uh uh, somebody got some problems. Four of Cups, you going, you going into the dating world, but this Queen of Swords is like, no, you're not. You're single. Yeah, someone thinks you're just going and fucking, and they think that you won't find what you're looking for in love. This Queen of Swords is really a pain. The moon, you starting to bleed this bitch. You think the relationship can be a lot. You're not ready for one. It's, she's starting to change her perspective. But it's not because she wants to be with you. So that's why you got a bit of attraction on your hands. Let's see, anything else for Capricorn? I mean, the swords is vicious. This motherfucker, but yeah. The Hermit, you could be ghosting someone, taking a break from someone. Maybe, again, you are, it's like you're in a relationship, Capricorn, with someone else, and you're keeping it a secret. The Queen of Wands and the High, the high Priestess. Yeah, it's like a secret. This bitch is a secret to you. You, got, you can't even... You're taking some type of break. Maybe someone's taking a break from something and they're disappearing secretly. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> some type of secret opportunity. Someone is moving in secret. Six of Wands. Someone is, yeah, this is some. Someone, yo, this King of Wands, he is, something is gonna happen to this nigga and it's gonna be some fucked up shit, but it is karmic as hell, the Hierophant. It seems like somebody wants to marry someone out of a relationship or someone has done someone wrong in a relationship. Your ass ain't shit, Capricorn. 
Anything else? I'm gonna get a red card. I ain't even do that for you. Anything else for Capricorn? Summer. Um, art is life. Paint your dreams. Sing your song and enjoy the dance. Enjoy that time, bitch. Try to be a rainbow in someone else's cloud. Um, let's see. You will meet your soulmate when the time is right. Don't rush that shit. You got the Queen of Swords to deal with. And um, and where the power comes from, it comes from within. Y'all act like y'all some whole bitches. Your life will change. Your life does not get better by chance. It gets better by change. You're going to have to do some shit, Capricorn, and never give up on what you really want. So here's my game plan for Capricorn. If you are in a relationship, you're leaving one, and you got an ex that is a cutthroat. Deal with that shit first. Let that shit blow over. Then come towards this person. Let them know. Let them down easy. See, that's an omen. Somebody fighting and shit. That drama. Loud commotion. That's that fucking sign. Somebody's like some dogs. Bitches fighting. So I ain't bitches fighting, don't it? Somebody's hurt. Oh. That's that omen right there, right? Never give up on what you really want, though. So, you're going to have to make the situation change and get better. This shit ain't going to get better with this other. These two people are going to keep fighting. You're going to have to come together and make them work together. This is... You want to have to figure this shit out. You deal with this woman or this man or this king of swords or whoever this person is. Deal with them. Then come towards your desire. You you trying to like pick up and do shit all at once? Nah, Capricorn, your ass don't work better like that. You don't work good in those conditions. Yeah, taking a leap into the unknown, not before the Queen of Swords is dealt with. You cannot get the prize until the big boss is completed. No prize, no big boss. <laughs> big boss first, then prize second. If you trying to be Shrek and shit, it's on my to do list. You didn't slay the dragon, my nigga. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Then you wonder, you see the end, the dragon tried to get their ass. They still have to slay the fucking dragon. You can't walk out the palace without no fu You Look at Aladdin. I'm going to get the treasure, but I'm going to pick up some other shit. And that's when the fucking cage tried to kill his ass. You need to deal with shit the correct way. Your ass is fucking wrong. Kill the truth and the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Truth to set you free. All right, Capricorn, I'm going to load these videos, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.